Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the Bald Explorer, out on another exploration. And if you were watching my previous video, you will know that I met up with uh, the lovely ringer Ollie, who Hello. is a 15 year old bell ringer in Sussex. Hello, yes. Ollie. Good afternoon. Lovely to have you on another video. We, ha we were in Balcombe, St. Mary's in Balcombe in the last video, but you've brought me down to Horsted Keynes. Yes. And we've come to a different church. Where are we? We're at St. Giles Church in the village of Forster Canes. Yes. And this is very different looking church. It is. It's much older. Much um, older. This, I think it, if we, we, we had a quick look inside and we, we established yeah. that there was a Saxon timber frame church of some description here. Mm. And then after the Norman invasion, as is typical everywhere, the sort of rebuilding and in stone yeah. of what we now see, of course. I don't probably. know much about the history. <laughs> no, the important part. <laughs> but what we're going to do is, if we, if we take a stroll up here, we're going to have a little look around um, and point out some of the interesting elements. It, there's a lot in this church. It's quite old, and there's some influential people in the village as well. So I know that one of your most influential people is um, the ex prime minister. Yes, Harold Macmillan is buried here. He had a large house up in the country estate called Birchgrove about a mile, uh, what would it be, east of the village. East um, of the village. And yeah, while he was there, he died and he got buried here. Yeah, so we're gonna make our way up to uh, have a look at that grave. But yeah. before we do, this is the, now it's now the rectory, but it used to be the old school building. Um, and then when the new school was built. Um, so this, what, this transept here? It, yes. It used it was, to be? It used to be the old school and then they moved the site to, they've built a new school in it now, but it's the same area. It's behind this church and they've built the rest of the church around it. But this is the oldest part, or one of the old parts. Gosh, so here we are, it's, I mean, it's tiny. Yes. And of course, in those days, they were, you know, they were, all the kids were crammed in and just had one tutor, but there wouldn't yeah. have been that many, I suppose. There isn't many. Um, I can't remember, like 50 or so, I think. And they came at different times as well. Yes. So. But you can see in this fine old stonework that the church has been very well kept and looked after and additions made up. You've got yeah. this uh, huge arch uh, just beyond us there and on the inside you'll see um, it in more detail but there's a story connected with that isn't there? I think so yeah I'm not sure if it's this exact arch but I've heard some of the knights on their way to battle used to ride through the church and go out the other side and used to bless them or something on that journey. Yeah so I guess to wish them horses. luck and yeah. Sure put God on their sure. side. I'm not sure if it's that arch or there's a small one at the bottom. Right, well. interesting um, stone. Actually, I'm just going to have a quick look at that because that's really interesting. St they they look new or polished or re redone. Here lieth the interned body of Saint Ellis Lighton, who died 9th of January. I think that is 1684 with his crest. I wonder if that's associated with um, the knights that went through. I'm not sure. It might be. Who knows? I think, I think it was that. Um, art. It's a, it is a lovely graveyard all around here as well with some beautiful old tombstones because people have uh, long passed now. Hmm. But you have a personal uh, connection with oh, the graveyard. Yes, I do. Just up here on the right, there's a memorial path and my grandparents are buried there ah. this year. Let's go up and have a quick a quick look. Right here. It's <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Within, well, in the same month of each other, actually, it was. This year. Yeah. But yeah, it's people who are cremated. They get their ashes put below. And it's like a memorial path. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. More important, up here. Up here, past this rather stunning yew tree that uh, robs us of the light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Takes you into another element say just behind here's the old rectory a very large estate um now i by someone else now we it's have a massive great big hedge here that you can't actually can't see, see through it. there's a little gap in the hedge rather look oh right but um yeah very large big fountains very nice <laughs> oh nice not yeah. no 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 longer a rectory no no it's no the moved. local the local rectory is up in the village uh quite a nice house but just it's next to the martindale center which is like a village hall kind of thing so we're coming up to two uh, large hedges here, or a, well, a horseshoe shaped hedge with a little roundabout. And as you can see in the background there, the church spire, which certainly dominates the area. We'll talk about that in a minute. But we've got three 
three, uh, three graves here. One very important looking one in the centre and I'm going to assume that that is where Harold Macmillan is born. Um, Sorry, <laughs> buried. He could have been born there. <laughs> he could have been born there. <laughs> um, but he's not. Uh, no, it's not. That I think that's his father, Morris Macmillan. Ah. Um, Harold Macmillan's grave is the one on the right. That's his grave down there. I think this is their family. So area. this is the family yeah. plot, really. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's it, so that's really interesting that because uh, the assumption is that because he was the ex prime minister um, and he lived from nineteen, uh, so 1894 to 1986, you'd think that he would be. He would have the. He would thing. have the prime thing, yeah, but, but I guess no. his father's his father obviously. Got that one first. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, it's, it's not many people know it's here, and it's quite a hidden because it's got hedges and everywhere around. Yeah. So, yeah. It's oh, how interesting. Oh, well, there we are. If, you, if you're looking for dead prime ministers, uh, this is one to look for. Right, shall we go back and have a look inside the church? Yes. Yeah. I think that would be great. So we made our way back down to the south entrance here, which actually is quite interesting because above it, it has a sundial, which you don't see very many of and unfortunately the tree next to it is obscuring the sun so <laughs> so yeah that's not so helpful is it no. however here is the porch shall we go in that's I'll let you in. go first okay. big quite new. nice new door there but a nice uh, heavy heavy looking door on that side Shut at night times to stop <laughs> and here we are So we've got a church with a, the main nave and interestingly, I suppose, for a church is that the, the bell tower is in the east. Is it? And then we've got, um, we've got the, these arches here, which is, gives you another aisle, which sort of suggests that's an extension yes. at some point. Uh, yeah, I expect so. I think this is probably the oldest part as, as well as just underneath the tower as well. And when the tower was made larger and they had the spire put on yeah um, a lot of refurbishing done over the last couple of years now it's looking very nice it looks lovely doesn't it yes so we've got here this is where the bell tower is so i i, I kind of got that wrong didn't i because i said it was in the east i mean it's sort of more easterly than yeah um it is fairly in the middle we're looking there down to into the chancel and the altar and the, um, the, the east window which is relatively small actually there are a couple of photos online from a while ago like no, just off of the wall where you can actually see all three ropes oh and right. they had because the bells at the moment are unringable i was going to ask you we were going to talk about the bells because um those that don't know you are a bell ringer i am yes um, um practicing bell ringer and so this church is a bit different than Yes. Many. Yeah. Um, they used to have a ring of three bells, or they still do, but they're not in a very safe condition. And only one of the bells over there, which has got that coloured rope on, um, that's the chiming bell. And yeah, they're unringable at the moment. But there are a couple of photos you can find online which show all three ropes when they were rung right. all together. So um, the bells are there. Two of them are hanging, as it were. Yeah. And one is sitting. One's not sitting on the floor. Yeah. We don't know why yet. We might, we're because I'm doing a bit of research into it and possibly doing a bit of restoration work. But we're thinking it was cracked, but we're not right. sure. But they took it out of its pit and it's just sitting in the box on the floor. There. I'm hoping we can restore these and get, yes. some, get it yeah. going again. And, and that's the sort of thing that you, you're into is in restoring yes. yeah, um, bells and... Enjoy lots of projects. Oh yeah, now there's an interesting point here. So in Death the, defying oh, yes, almost. Yes. In the floor, yes. uh, there's a cross engraved in a stone, and that was given by a lady called Jane Mallander, who nearly got killed by a, a flying or a dropping clock weight out of the tower, about a ton. A and ton. It, about a ton, I would say, um, and it missed her by about a foot. And this is that's the position, the middle of that cross where the clock weight landed. Oh God! So, <laughs> and she was so standing she was just about st here. standing yeah. more or less where you are, and it just yeah. skimmed past her. Yeah, very close. But she Mine. gave that in her gratitude. Yes. <laughs> so there we go. God moves in mysterious ways. Oh yes. And uh, yeah. So if you were stood here, so presumably um, that there are improved braces up there to stop that yeah, happening again. It, they had it after it happened. They had it all restored. Um, and we come up into the altar here, and then we've got some interesting uh, features here. This is an interesting tomb. We did look this this up. This is the the Crusaders' tomb. But we don't I think that one over there. Oh, is that uh, the one? That's the um, 
that's save the his heart or something like that. Oh yes, that's right. Yes, uh, I don't know whether that's one of those apocryphal stories where a heart has been brought back from sure. the Crusades and um, you know he's, he's, he's buried here, although the rest of his body probably perished not somewhere. Not entirely sure. And then what, did, what can we remember? What that I'm one not was? entirely sure what that is. Um, no, but it's obviously it's like... Kind of, yeah, I think it's the front of a tomb. Yes. Yeah. So there must be a coffin or something behind it. Up on this... Um, this panel, yeah. yeah. There's engraved... Um, names and dates of when people were born and dead and buried and there's a person called Henry and he if you listen as he was born on December the 30th 1715 and buried March the 7th 1715 so he was so he buried, was before, buried he was born. before he was born and, I, and uh, yeah so that does sound a bit daft doesn't it but I Ollie we, you, <laughs> I'm just moving around his into I the think, light I think it's um the church warden told me that it was the year the calendar changed or so something like that but i'm not Jewish entirely sure if it's sure if it's true but apparently that might be where it's from it's yeah quite, it's quite interesting Have a look otherwise there. the bloke who carved it's obviously transposed the, the name but i think it's more likely that, that something the year like the calendar, changed, the, the calendar changed but yeah i wonder how many people notice that sort of thing because I've, I've never noticed it i've been 15 years <laughs> but. Oh, well, it's a fascinating church and I certainly recommend coming and having a look for yourselves. As ever in my videos, it's just a, a quick whistle-stop tour. Ollie, it's been fantastic Thank to have a look at that. We're going to get you back to go to some other churches. I know yes. that you do... Um, We're up at Highbrook, I think, soon. Up, up at Highbrook. So, church. Yeah. yeah, look forward to that. And we'll find out more about your bell ringing and projects. But for now, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, give us a thumbs up, all the usual nonsense, and um, I'll be out and about somewhere. Until then, thank you so much, Ollie. It's thank been great. Much. Thank you. Until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.